Alright, and I'm back with another video. Back, 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 back. And today we are here with a girl talk. And really, I just want to come and talk to you guys and give you guys a little insight on my life and what's been going on with me. And just some encouraging words, some uplifting things that I want to tell you guys. And all this stuff is about to just strictly be from the dome. Um, I'm going to try to be completely vulnerable with you guys because I love y'all so much. And being vulnerable is healthy. And it's something that you should be able to share and be able to do in life. So I want to share with you guys. And hopefully you guys are able to be vulnerable with me in the comment section. Despite, you know, other people's opinions and so forth like that. I want this to be a safe place. And I just feel like it's something new that I want to start doing. Like, I just want to have mental health check-ins and just girl talk and stuff like that. Because us ladies, even the gentlemen, we go through things. Sometimes we need people to talk to. Sometimes we don't have close people to talk to. Um, I want to be the person y'all can talk to. So, up under this video, I want you guys to be completely vulnerable with me. Let me know how your mental is going, how you're feeling. If you're happy, sad, joyful, peaceful, what you want out of life, if you want more, whatever. I just want to be able to feed back into you guys, give you guys my feedback, and just going from there. So yeah, guys, um, before we jump right into the Chit Chat Girl Talk, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Julia Hair. And y'all already know, I rock with Julia. I talk about this hair company all the time, like got so many videos on them. It's just, I don't know, every time every time we collab, it's always good, and the hair's just always bomb. So I'm going to be installing my wig along this whole video. I got a straight wig, 24 inches, and it is a lace frontal. Let me show you guys real quick. It is a frontal. We got the lace going on and all that jazz. So yeah, I'm about to just jump right into the video. I'm going to be doing my hair, so I'm not going to be looking at you guys the whole entire time. But I just got some things to, you know, talk about. Alright, so without further ado, you already know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Um, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do y'all see the nails? Nail check. Lip check. Nail check, lip check. Don't ever play, okay? <laughs> no, but let's go right ahead and get into the video. Alright, y'all. So, like I told y'all in the um, intro, I want this video to just be authentic and just... I don't know whatever flows in this video is just what flows to be honest like it's really like I'm talking to myself but not really I do this on a daily anyway talking to myself because I feel like talking to myself is very therapeutic to me some people think it's weird but I'm like self-love is the best love and if you can't talk to yourself then you cannot talk to anyone else like I don't like you're gonna understand you more than anybody so i just don't understand how some people feel like talking to yourself is weird it's totally not weird and you totally need to get grounded within yourself and talk to yourself because it makes you whole and it just it's like a self-fulfillment in a way like you know speaking positivity over your life and just asking self like how you feel today you know what i'm saying like really digging deep and and noticing and taking accountability for how you feel inside so if anybody has ever told y'all like talking to yourself is weird or you're weird because you're talking to yourself out loud or talking to yourself in the mirror tell them how about you try it and then come back to me you know what i'm saying like i don't i don't understand that part i really don't understand that part but whatever all right guys so let me give y'all a little background on my life and all that razzle dazzle so some of you guys might know, some of you guys, you know, might not know or do know. I was in a relationship for four whole years since I was, um, we got together when I was in 10th grade. 10th grade is high school, so I'm thinking 16, 17, something like that. I don't know, uh, 15, 16, something like that. I don't completely remember exactly how old I was when we got together but basically that person was all that i knew you know what i'm saying um i was raised in a pretty i was raised in a pretty decent home per se but not necessarily all that i wanted is what i got and the person i was dealing with you know gave me everything and more you know even some things that my parents weren't able to do for me or whatever that person was doing for me in ways that I could never imagine, you know, at such a young age. So, you know, when you have something like that, it's like you become 
stuck in a comfort zone definitely when you don't really have anything to really look up to within your household as far as like you know two parents being together or you know just really seeing companionship and things like that at home i didn't really see that for real so i really didn't know how to go about love and a sense and things like that and i'm kind of gonna be jumping around in this video because i just got so many thoughts and i'm just gonna be talking so pretty much i was in a relationship for a long time i got stuck in a comfort zone um there were times where you know i've done my bad things because you know i was really young and still not even i wouldn't even say finding myself per se because honestly i thought i had it all figured out at such a young age but clearly like girl no being on this new journey i'm on now my spiritual journey and finding myself healing i've noticed i've noticed like girl you really thought you was really doing something back then it's like girl no you were completely traumatized and unhealed and all kind of stuff i was going through just brushing to the side and just trying to move on with life or whatever but back to the breakup i knew we had some things to work on i knew it was time to you know break up whatever within years of it happening don't get me wrong part of the relationship was amazing some parts weren't of course that's with every relationship you fall in love you fall out of love just certain things that happened during that process of love and then being so young it's just like girl you don't know what you're doing you think this is love and it's so it's so many factors that play in relationships and just love in general like it's just i don't know i feel like i was on a high i feel like i was in love i felt all kind of i felt all kind of stuff but anyways fast forward um we ended up moving in together we ended up doing a lot of things it was always something new i mean got dogs together all kind of little stuff and then of course the unhappiness came into play <laughs> y'all this is just my timeline over the years of what's been going on in my life that a lot of, i don't really let people into my life i'm letting y'all in but this is one of my this is on my personal my, my personal side so yeah moving together got like two apartments together and everything like that y'all following with me y'all following so like i said then the unhappiness started to roll in and real grown-up life start hitting and real changes and you know as you grow as you grow up you grow when you want to you know what I'm saying? like some people grow up and they still stay in a comfort zone and they still stay subtle or content and then there's people like me who realize i'm growing up i'm growing i need to elevate i need to take it up a notch i need to change you know change is inevitable and life is all about change and balance so that's what i was going through and i felt the shift you know what i'm saying i felt the shift i knew something had to be done within that relationship so basically um i'm just gonna fast forward a little bit it just got to the point where the relationship was so toxic and it just wasn't fulfilling anymore one minute is really good the next minute it's like oh my gosh we're here again like it's madness again next minute oh my god i'm on a high again but it got to a point where there was no high you know what i'm saying like there wasn't a high anymore like it might have felt like something but you know deep down inside there was no high there it was it just wasn't no high to it anymore and i that's when i knew it was time to to leave and to break free and i met a friend um she came out of nowhere because i had been praying so much like i had been praying so hard for a friend for you know guidance from god like i was praying so hard on so many different things and a friend came along out of nowhere y'all literally out of nowhere she came out of nowhere never met her before never knew her <laughs> She literally came out of nowhere and became something so special to me. Right now, I'm not even sure for friends right now because some things happen. But whatever, that's that's a whole nother story. But like I said, she became something so special to me. And I felt like I met 
something that I've known my whole life. If you get what I'm saying. Like, we met in another life or, you know, something like that. I don't know. It was just so crazy. It was like she was my angel who I really needed to come talk to me and to, you know, put some sense into my head or something. Because everything she has ever said to me was just so motivational or so, so helpful I don't know it was just crazy how it happened because i promise y'all like we did not know each other at all but from the moment we started being friends it just was always so positive and so uplifting and just so like i felt like it was confirmation in a sense like i just really felt like it was confirmation for me to you know leave my past like she would help me understand my worth and tell me like all right you're just stuck in a comfort zone like you have to you have to let go there's so much better you know there's so much life out there there's so much more you know than you being content in this space where you know is no longer resonating with you anymore and that's what happened y'all and ever since i met her and ever since i left my ex and all this stuff i just feel like things have been getting better and better and better and i say that to say like you might have to go through people for you to learn yourself, learn who you are, learn your worth, learn your purpose in life. You have to go through people like I don't nobody deserves or nobody should be alone. You know what I'm saying? There's always room for improvement. There's always room for growth. And I just want y'all to know, like, if you're going through something right now, you can get through it. Like this whole little phase I've been going through had been going on for years and I'm finally and I was finally able to really understand the gist of what's going on and finally making a change. You know what I'm saying? So it's never too late to take accountability for your actions and it's never too late for you to really see what you're going through and to put yourself in a better position and in a better predicament because like i said mental health is everything mental health comes first before literally anything before finances before beauty before anything your mental health is extremely important like your mind your brain all of that is extremely important because it controls so much in your body like i'm telling you guys if your mental is not healthy your mental state is not strong then it's just no life you know what i'm saying it's, it's just it's pointless and i say that to say like i started to and what helped me you know get better and you know find myself more loving myself more because that relationship kind of dimmed me down although at the time i didn't feel like i didn't know myself and i didn't know my worth and i felt like i was good you know what i'm saying but deep down i really wasn't and i realized that my friend helped me realize that once i really got in tune with how i started feeling i realized it for myself you know what i'm saying she was just the guidance i needed she was just that extra tool that extra push that extra word that i needed but when i really self-reflect and really dug deep into the problem into the issue within myself because nobody can do that for you only you can do that for you so she she can't I can't say that she helped me in that way. You know, you got to take accountability and you got to self-reflect on your own. And that's what I did. And that's how I was able to see the problems that I had within and the problems that I needed to heal from and the traumas I needed to heal from, whether it was parent-wise, relationship-wise, friendships that, that were lost, anything that I felt like I needed to reflect on and, you know, change, I sat with it and I dealt with it. And that's why I'm able to say where I am today. And that's why I'm able to say, like, I feel like I'm growing. I feel like I'm on a great, I'm on a great path right now. I feel like I'm glowing. I feel like I'm happier. I'm more joyful. I don't even want to say happier. I want to say joyful because honestly, I am. I've been living my life more. Everything that I thought was at a standstill is not at a standstill anymore because I changed my mindset. And everything starts with change and everything starts from within. I always say everything starts from within because it really does, once you put your mind to something, your heart to something, anything is possible. Like you can change, you can change how you feel. You can start your day off sad, feeling like you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. All you gotta tell yourself is self, today gonna be a good day. I'm starting to, I know this day started off on the wrong foot but i'm changing it now i'm switching it up now i don't want to feel like this all day i don't want to be down all day and guess what 
You pick yourself up. A lot of people feel like they can't pick themselves up. And I want to be the testimony for you. There were days where I felt down, crying, literally living alone, crying. It gets sad. It gets lonely. It gets depressed. It gets depressing. It gets all kind of different feelings. But you have to learn how to uplift yourself. It's easier said than done. But like I said, everything starts with change and everything starts with your mindset. Okay? So if you want to feel better, if you want to be happy, if you want to be joyful, if you want to feel like you're at peace, if you want to feel, you know, a, bun a bundle of abundance and prosperity and just an overflow of good feelings and, you know, feeling motivated and just certain stuff like that, like you have to talk to yourself. Everything goes back to talking to yourself. You have to talk to yourself. You have to talk yourself into a good mood. All kind of stuff. Start smiling out of nowhere. Start laughing out of nowhere. Play, do something that you enjoy. You know, find a hobby. Play some music. Like, music is so therapeutic, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Music is so therapeutic. Find your favorite artist, your favorite um genre, and just play it. Feel it. Work yourself into a good mood. Play the music. Dance around. Smile. Take pictures. Go on a walk. Draw. Journal. Say positive words of affirmations, y'all. I'm telling you, it's so many ways to bring yourself back up. And I just wish more people knew that, you know? If more people understood that the mind was a powerful thing and that you could make yourself feel better regardless, the world would be a better place. And just vibrate love, peace, you know, joyfulness. The world would be so much more peaceful. But it's just like people always want to have revenge or always resentful or you know certain stuff like that like don't be like that don't be like everybody if you feel like you're going through something try to fix it within yourself you know what i'm saying heal healing is not just about relationships healing is from different things that happen in your life childhood different things like i said just heal y'all and like i said in the comment section below feel free to vent Feel free to leave any comment you want. Honestly, it's a safe place. Feel free to vent. I don't care. I want y'all to vent. I love talking to people. I love helping people. I know my purpose. My purpose is to help heal and to just guide people. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing, literally. From my words, my business, helping people. That's just what I do. That's just what I enjoy doing spreading knowledge <laughs> my grandma told me i had a gift at first i was like girl what's my gift i'm like girl what's my gift <laughs> and i realized what my gift was speaking i love to speak i used to be so shy like i wouldn't say really shy but shy like don't really want to talk because i don't know why i just didn't do it I don't know why, but I have to get over that because being pretty, being a goddess, being wise, being able to be outspoken, even though I was timid, it's like, baby girl, you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just something that you just do. You got to have that confidence, that push. And that's how you build confidence too, just doing. Get out that comfort zone, for sure. If you guys ever feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, my biggest suggestion for that is to journal and to talk to your creator. You know what I'm saying? Don't just feel like you're alone and you don't have anybody to talk to because you have something to talk to, whether it's yourself, journaling, whatever I just said. You know what I'm saying? Just just do it and don't think, don't think too hard on it. All right, I gotta lay this lace real quick.
Blowdrop, and more. Yeah, guys, so um, I'm going to give y'all some homework because I'm almost done with this chit chat. That's pretty much all I wanted to tell you guys. Just a little background on how I found myself again and, you know, uplifting myself. Even though change is always changing. I mean, things is always changing. And, you know, change within yourself is going to be forever. You know, you're always growing and evolving and stuff. But for now, you know, getting myself into a better place and in a better space, that's basically what I did was journal, uh, say positive things, talk to a friend, you know, be completely vulnerable with myself, cry, release, let go, move on. Um, those are just some things that you have to do, you know, to get out of, you know, a certain space. You don't want to be down for long. You want to bring yourself back up, so... I just want to let you guys know what I did. And your homework for anybody who's feeling, you know, down or low or even if you're feeling good. To just continue the positivity. Always speak positivity over your life. Regardless, if you don't feel it or anything, speak it. It don't matter if you feel it right now. Speak it into existence. So I want you guys to write positive affirmations. Um, you know, speak positivity over your life. You guys should journal. You guys should read more. I started reading love books and love things. I'm such a love girl and love, I know true love will find me. And I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just know. And I'm already grateful for it. Like, it feels so good. It feels so joyful. It feels so peaceful. It's just so wonderful to have such a calming love, a calm, patient lover. It, I'm just so grateful. And I'm just so humbled and I just pray for divine and acceleration for finding love in my life and just, you know, moving forward and just healing myself so that I'm able to be everything for somebody as they are to me. And the love will just be reciprocated and everything like you just have to speak and feel it. Y'all saw how I just got into my prayer out of nowhere. Like you got to feel it. Literally, you have to feel it. You can't just say what you want and expect the universe or expect, you know, God to just you know, bring you what you saying. You got to feel it. You got to let them know, like, this is what I truly desire. This is what I truly want for myself. And I feel like I deserve it. I know I deserve it because I'm being a good person. And when I'm a good person, I receive greatness. So starting with yourself. <laughs> Self is everything. Like, you got to love yourself first before anybody can love you the way that you want them to. You have to love yourself that way first. And a lot of people don't realize that, but I want you guys to know that you have to be everything that you want in a partner. So you say you want that person to be loyal. You want to be able to trust them. You want them to be able to do this, look this certain way. You need to, you need to have that reciprocated within yourself. Like that needs to be what you are too, because you are what you attract. So um, if you want to be loyal, you want somebody loyal, you need to be loyal. You want love, peace, light, you need to be vibrating on that. You need to be that. And that's just on period. <laughs> no, but I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'm about to go ahead and continue this video. And I'll probably just fast forward me doing it. Y'all already know how I install my wigs. I got so many installation videos. I just really felt it in my heart to talk to you guys. I've been wanting to do this video for you guys. Um, just because I know it'll be able to help some people. Just like it helped me, like... Finding yourself and being on this spiritual journey was one of the best things I could have ever done. Like, I got my crystals. I got my meditation music that I do. I have my sage. Like, I have so much stuff to just get me grounded and to just get me in tune with myself. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. Like, I wish nothing but greatness, peace, love, light, joyfulness, love like no other. I wish, I wish everything good on you guys. I wish you guys nothing but the best, nothing but greatness, like literally nothing but greatness. Um, I hope you guys take something from this, run with it. I love you guys. And I'm about to fast forward this video with Miss Julia here. Y'all see how thick this hair is. Yes, baby. I'm about to just go ahead and finish this up. I'm so excited. I need to go out tonight. I need to go somewhere because I'm looking good. <laughs> I'm looking good. I need to go somewhere. I'm going somewhere, y'all. But yeah, 
like I said, I love you guys so much. Thanks for rocking with me. I'm so grateful for 100K. I know I didn't tell you guys. No, I made a post, but I didn't speak to y'all in the video. I thank y'all so much for 100K like we did it, okay? We freaking did it. I appreciate y'all so much. Like I always tell y'all, I am not self-made. You guys helped make me and shape me, so I appreciate y'all. I love you guys with all of my heart. I am forever grateful for all of my supporters, the good and the bad, the ups and the downs. I don't care. I'm grateful. It made me better, made me stronger, made me wiser, and I love Love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. If nobody told y'all today, I love y'all. Okay. So let's just go ahead and just get right into this video. You know, the fast forward of this video, and let's just keep it rolling.
thank you babe so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you guys enjoyed the chit chat make sure you shop julia hair get you your hair look how thick this is in full the lace is great no shedding none of that look at the body straight hair and it's still flowing period get into it make sure you use my discount code below um leave a comment in the comment section i love you guys and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video Mwah.